when Taylor was 15, I learned, and I probably shouldn't even say it like this, I learned for every new level, there's a new devil. Oh, come on. That's real. That's real. And, and, and oh, come on. She, and she, mm -hmm. when she turned 18, um, it was, and I, I guess all 18, I, I don't remember when I was 18, um, but the, I'm 18, I'm grown, I can do what I want. Pushing that off. Yeah, yeah pushing. I mean, just all the way. Oh, and so I find all the time that I'm having to say, there's only one adult in this house, and yeah. it's me. And you want to be an adult, you go outside, yeah. and you stay there, and yeah. she will not come to my home. Trying to tell me how to do that in my house. Mm -hmm. I'm the only adult. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel it. And I'm fine to win. I'm, I'm on my knees. Mm -hmm. let, let, me, let me tell you how dope God is, uh, Raquel. So, so I, I, I tripped, and I, I'm talking about I blacked out. It takes a lot for me to get there, but when I get there, yeah, it's, it's kind of. Looking at it like it's dangerous. It's dangerous for me to have that kind of temperament. And God was like, I need to control that. Because, like, for real, if, 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 if you did what Moses did now, yeah, you would be doing 25 to life, mm -hmm. five to seven, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And so I can't respond to everything because I realize that everybody's not wired the same way that I am. I can't put expectations on my daughter to be a certain way. Right? Or want it more for her than she wants it for herself. So check how God did me. So one of the things that I told the, the, the young lady that I was coaching, I said, do me a favor. There's a book by uh, a, a book by a woman called Stormy or uh, Stormy Omar. Omar. Power of a praying wife. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm gonna get the book and I'm gonna read it with you. Now this is totally directed towards women as they deal with their husbands, but I'm reading the book and I'm internalizing everything. And God said, where's the grace that you're extending to this child? I put her in your care, right? And just to handle the, the light weight, the heavy weight was never meant for you to lift. And when you get to a place where it's like for real, it, it, my man said it to me, he said, Quest, God pushing you to your knees, bruh. Because I haven't, up until that point, I had yet to pray for it until it got to a point where I was just like, okay, okay, God, you're going to have to handle it now because I feel, I feel it and I feel anger in a way that I haven't felt anger in before because, once I, again, I said we need respect and I feel like I'm being disrespected right now. But he said, what is your intention though? Because sometimes what she's doing to you feels like a punishment and not a pruning. And the difference between the two is your intent. And so I had to switch up my intent. And now I'm looking at it now like, okay, God, I'm being pruned so that I can bear more fruit. And so you can use me in ways that you've never done before. What is your cross that you're facing today? It may be your spouse. It may be child. It might be finances. It might be the way that you're talking to one another. What is your cross? And how are you looking at it? Because if you've been doing stuff and it's not working, stop. Yeah. It don't work. Yeah. And the one thing that we should do, we're not doing, and that is fall to our knees. Mm -hmm. God, I, mm -hmm. I need you. Amen. And sometimes that is enough. I need you. Let me tell you, one night, yo, for real, y'all, I got so angry one night, and I, I, I know God was breaking me because I had to go into the closet and close the door, and I just sat on the floor for a minute, and I promise y'all, I cried like I ain't. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Got to. Got to. Got to. And I knew, I knew it. I knew it. I was like, God, I'm Yes, it is you. Okay. Rocking <laughs> mm -hmm. with me is you. Mm -hmm. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Which question right. you understand, right? Oh, yeah. I'm with you. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's but right. you got that thing that only you and God know about, and you try to let it go. Mm -hmm. Have mercy. It just keep riding you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I realize now, I'm learning how to be a little bit more vulnerable as a man. Because I realize that the, the dictionary definition of man is susceptible to personal, <coughs> physical, or emotional attack. And most men, that's what we carry. That's the shield we carry around. Right? And so because we've been taught from day one, 
You don't you don't whine. You don't you man up. You handle your bi. You don't you don't cry. You don't shed no tears. But I but I no. But I found out that when we do that, we're adapting. Because I found out that the true definition of vulnerability is to be able to show people who you naturally are and how you're naturally wired. And sometimes we rob our own selves of getting to see who we really are in certain circumstances because we've been raised a certain way. So we dealing with, yo, I can't, no, nah, no, nah, God, I can't. Come on, you know where I'm from? I'm from the bush. Kings Highway, 91st and 92nd, 90s in the building, Flatbush in the building. That's how we came up. I can't let nobody, and God said, no, son. <laughs> you got to decrease okay. so I can increase. And when I increase, oh, your boy Buster Rhyme said it, powerful impact, boom, from the cannon. That's when your power is at its greatest. And so I'm saying to us tonight, what is your cross? 